there's like a pearly type sediment down at the bottom. That is the actual glimmer in the glimmer mist. Do not shake. Ah. Gotcha. There's a reason why. I'm going to tell you why. One of the biggest things that concerns a lot of people using glimmer mist is the fact that it comes out as a splatter. Yeah, it's all in the shake, girls. When you are shaking glimmer mist, you're not actually shaking. You want to swirl it. Okay? Sometimes, if you take that glimmer mist and pat it against the palm of your hand, perhaps. What about that? What does it say you can, uh, What about that? Perhaps the other way, but doing it upside down is also a big no. No, no. <laughs> Two reasons. Okay? Two reasons why you do not want to shake glimmer mist upside down. All of that sediment you're seeing at the bottom, where is it going to go? It's going to go in the little tube in which you're spritzing. So what happens when those tubes get plugged up? It's not coming out or it's going to splat. The other reason why you do not want to do that, the air bubbles will also enter that tube. And again, that's going to result in a splat rather than a mist. They call it glimmer mist, not glimmer splat, right? I personally like the mist. Now, occasionally, occasionally, you're still going to end up with a splatter, okay? It's inevitable. You are putting a liquid onto a paper or whatever surface, but this will help to greatly reduce. Now, the problem you're probably noticing right now, it's taking a little while. Right? Your brand new bottle's not a lot of air in there in order to get things going. Sometimes you gotta tap and you know be a little patient. Get it going. It will go eventually. Now when you're working with glimmer mist, I'm giving you all the lecture first. Well I kind of have your attention and then we'll get going. When you're working with glimmer mist and you set it down on your table for two minutes while you go and answer the telephone and you go back to pick it up, you need to swirl it again. Why? Because it'll settle. This is important stuff that I know it sounds pretty minor, but you know what? You hear a lot of people saying, I'm not so sure what to do. Why am I getting the result? Now when you're spraying, I'm going to say it again while we're all listening, so my voice doesn't go too far. But when you're spraying, depending on how far you hold that bottle away from the surface you're spraying will also result in the droplet size that's going to land on your paper. Okay? And when you're spraying, you also want to keep your hand moving. Imagine, gentlemen, painting a car. Right? You see them on the, on the car repair channel? I do. Anyways, my husband doesn't turn that thing off. But when the people are painting cars, they're constantly keeping their hand moving rather than just sitting there and spraying, right, in one direct spot. And again, you'll get a better coverage if you keep it moving and gradually build up your color as opposed to oversaturating at once and then you're going to get it running all down the page.